Have fun, guys. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Fight if you're blind, Commander. Build that radar. Uh, are you here on this court now, Jim? I saw your video, yeah. the previous version. It's looking good. I'm already embarrassed. Embarrassed? Yeah. How's that? I don't think I uh, played the right way for this type of map. Which is actually fun uh, to adjust my playstyle a bit. Alright. For instance, I think I was way too zoomed in. Yep. <laughs> no vision, no... Uh... But that's nice, the idea of this map is to challenge you into thinking differently. Are you taking this one or am I? Multiple attack uh, I was planning to go for it. All right, go for it then. Don't forget the radar. How much vision does it actually give? Um, all the way up to here, about there. That's pretty close to the, to the edge of the map. Yeah, pretty useful. <laughs> and it's free. That's especially why it's useful. As in, th there's no upkeep cost. Does someone have some power for me? Unfortunately not. 
Alright, well, neither do I. Not power stone. Oh, nice. Cheers. <laughs> now I'm about to bar so Commander under attack. To do to to do to this, yes, sir. Do you have the same color as the boat, or am I just being blind with my uh, color shift um, to the monitor? It's almost the same. I can't see the difference. You can always see the difference if it shoots back, and it's probably not mine. Probably. <laughs> oh, so, some time ago, me and Jammer were thinking about, uh, well, floating around some crazy survival IDs, one of them being Phantom Survival. A Phantom Survival? How would that work exactly? Uh, yeah, that was a good question there. <laughs> uh, yeah, ho hold on. Yeah, R remembering what we had in mind while playing is a bit difficult. Sorry. I can imagine, I can imagine. That uh, in previous version of the maps, you would see the experimentals coming. Yeah, so it's still in the current version, but uh, FAF is bugged. There's a bug in the in the repository code of FAF, and that's preventing the vision from spawning. So there's nothing I could do at it. At some point, it will randomly work again, and then all's good. And in the meantime, you can pretty much see them coming because there's four large platoons spawning around them. So if you if you spot those platoons, then you can be pretty confident of the fact that there is an experimental uh, coming somewhere from that direction.
But it will it will return the uh, experimentals being seen because I don't like surprising people and people don't like surprises. So. There is some code in uh, some other survival maps for adding vision around the unit. I know, but it's, it uses the same code in the fabric. All everything is broken. Like all the campaigns oh. are broken too. So if, if it was there, I would have used it. But at the moment of writing, it's just not there. And the fix is already out there. It just needs to be pushed, which means. Uh, Put back into practice. Oh, did I understand correctly that uh, the main thing you program in is Haskell? Uh, no, not necessarily. But it is. It is. Uh, I teach in Haskell. Oh. Okay, then I'm slightly less jealous. Do you have some units that you can send here? I'm afraid I may just lose it. Um, well. But why would you be jealous if my main language would be Haskell? Well, I think it's a very interesting language. It certainly is. And I really like uh, writing in a procedural style, but uh, in PHP you can only go so far there. And you yeah, can that's true. Avoid assignments and functions and so on. Uh, but Good look writing is saying higher order function. Well, there's no nuke anymore. Do you have units to try and uh, take out this thing? I don't really know what is there. We can hey, we have Scott for that. Yeah, I already moved this. I bet uh, I'm about to use this thing here, I think. What's this thing? Oh, I have some units in the neighborhood. Neighborhood. <laughs> templates. Building five master this is not the same as building a PD. So
boy. <laughs> what? Are we all doing? Nothing. Decent here. Uh, there's a couple of large platoons here. Commander, an enemy monkey lord has been sighted. HQ out. The monkey lord is here. And there are some pretty hefty platoons here.
Watch your back. You've got a bad feeling about this up. Where is this fighter at? It's somewhere down there. Painful moments. There's units in the middle for someone. That's true. Uh, they he, he gifted them to you. Okay. Fixed it. <laughs> okay. No, no, okay. In the middle. <laughs> nice by ostrich. Now, of course, you should just give them back to him. Oh boy, oh, the, the, the monkey. monkey here, though. Monkey. <laughs> We knew he was there, right? right? So. Yeah. Yeah, but together with his waves. There's a humongous platoon walking there. Energy, energy. What the is doing? No! Ah! <laughs> ah! I don't have the energy. <laughs> Alright, we can do better than that. I think you're echoing too much, honestly. You don't need that much eco to finish the game. Like you have 93 massive characters, you could have built your own spider bot with that. Uh, yeah. Too, the, too, too late eco. on. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying, but I think the main issue is that I am too too late on the T3 switch. Maybe making yeah going for TT doesn't make that much sense. I don't know. Well, T2 works if you get it soon enough, like early enough. But I think if you would skip two T3 mass extractors and push your edge quarters a bit sooner, you'll notice that things will be easier. Yeah, I seem to look at forward base too quickly. You mean uh, support factories or what? Um, no, I mean like the, the HQ costs about 6k. Hmm. So if you, if you don't make two T3 mass extractors, which you don't honestly need, because if you take out the Monkey Lord, he gifts you like 15k mass. Mm -hmm. Which is more than those mass extractors will ever produce for you. The only thing you have to do is take out the Monkey Lord before it kills the artillery station. Yeah. I started the tier 3 HQ after 2 tier 3 maxes, something like that. I just took my oh, way okay. long to get... Yeah. Part of it was that uh, nearly all my Angies in my base got killed because some units came through Ouch. Uh, via the top, which I wasn't expecting. Right. You micro in the front and then you look back at your base and half of it is gone. It's like, oh no. <laughs> well, that's kind of what it does, right? The, the AI, it tries to find out where it can do the most damage to you by having the least resistance. So it literally scans the environment and tries to see, can I path to you without 
passing your defenses. 